Warning, this video may contain graphic content, such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Please be over 18 to view this, and don't say we didn't warn you little sinners. Endlessly searching for an original sin. Welcome to Sinfully Fun Games, we're looking at Fractured World. The Nether Sky. Now this game is an RPG maker game. It actually has controller support. Okay, so maybe the controller support doesn't work. Uh, I believe actually, I think they are going to be playing the game. So you can kind of see. We're going to actually turn. There. So let's do this. Now loading. Disclaimer, this game contains strong sexual themes, cl including depictions of homosexual relationships between men and women. Wait. 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 Depictions of homosexual relationships between men and women. Oh, I'm an idiot. Depictions of homosexual relations between men and women, non-human creatures, and hermaphrod hermaphroditic or transsexual characters. I honest to God thought it meant. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get what I meant, so um, <laughs> what I thought, and I'm a little stupid. I'm I'm tired, working with puppy for three days with little sleep. If the viewing of this material is illegal in your country. You are underage, or you have a problem with such material, please proceed no further. Otherwise, enjoy the game. So this game is still a heavy work in progress, guys, so don't be too mean on it. Let's see. Do you want to auto-skip the MM content? No! Bring on the boy sex! It'll be perfect for the guys when they start recording their stuff. In the beginning, there was a war. A great and terrible war. Its fury encompassed the entire world. The servants of the call stood valiantly for humanity, casting down the dark tyrant Agris and the demonic kindred. However, exhausted from battle, the great god king Kaharl disappeared from human history, leaving his servants to guide humanity in his stead. However, that was a long time ago. Now these noble days are long these long ago seem so alien. Corrupt priests and politicians scar the land and the hearts have been up. Oh, there we go. Our story begins in the land humans call by. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 when you mess up once. It is the right it is it is night atop the wall. No, nope, bye. We're gonna make it go faster now. I messed up. I was doing so good. Oh shit! I just missed something. Fuck. Never hold the bot mouse button down. Daria looks startled. He hadn't heard anyone approach, but when he noticed it was Mira, his expression softened. They were old friends and soldiers, as good as her. Were as always quiet. We're always quiet. <laughs> Isn't there always? I was expecting the rookie. Right here, asshole. Mira fills her regiment mug and takes a sip. Much better. Yeah, the new kid. She's with the Doc. She's with Doc Tapper. She's with Doc. Trapper jumped her on her first day. If you can believe that, you hardly ever see those this far north. So there was no one else to take her shift? <laughs> I needed some air. My family is up to its old tricks. Oh, so who's your lucky uh, bay this time? A wealthy falcom, falcom, fulcrum merchant? Some rich old geezer? Heh. <laughs> no, they stopped trying that old shtick after I, after what I did to the last one. Besides. You can't sow seeds in barren ground. I honestly wonder why he keeps sending them. 
the last few weren't so bad looking, you know. My money says he hopes you'll swoon dramatically into one of their arms and stop causing trouble. Heh, <laughs> perhaps, regardless, this isn't this isn't about that. This is a little bit more serious. They're starting to make trouble m troubling moves. They've been buying massive amounts of Falcrum and enlisting the aid of the talented engineers and shardsmiths. Bloody Adkirks. Adrocks. Bloody Adrocks are at it again. No offense meant meant to you, of course. None taken. Suddenly, an odd shadow in the distance catches Mira's attention. Huh? Hand me your crossbow, Sergeant. Dareth gives Mira a confused look, but years of trust kick in, and he hands her his bow without a second thought. Straining her eye, Mira sights through the telescope through the scope into the dry forest beyond the approach. Get down! Half of Dareth's skull has been blown away. He's dead. Old friend. Shaking her head, Mira steals her resolve. When her eyes leave Dareth's corpse, there is no sign of her earlier grief. Those are fire, fire tips. That's military gear. Who the hell is attacking us? <clears throat> no, no time for questions. First thing first. The alarm alarm the uh, I can't read the alarm. Get everyone to their posts. Someone just shot old Dareth with a fucking spire tip. We have at least one. Wait. Where are the rest of our soldiers? Occupied down below, ma'am. Sappas have breached the store the storeroom and forge. Praise too. Just wouldn't go down. <coughs> We're keeping them hammed up for now. We're hammed up for now. I see. Good work, soldier. Now, ready what focus we have remaining. Full, full wall detail and send scouts to find them. Incoming! <laughs> Meanwhile, on the plate below the Amarant Siege is, oh, not even gonna say it, a community on the edge of the world. Velhor is a fuck, a fuckrum. Why do I keep wanting to say fuckrum? Is it fuckrum? Fuldrum, fulcrum, fuckrum, fuck it. Mining town. Machinery is everywhere, and I can't read. The simple servitable airships, you really shouldn't do that. Uh, fulcrum makes, you know what? You guys can read this quietly. Is it fuck room? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what? So yeah, I, I won't even try. It's actually kind of hard to read this on that text, like, around the, um, the little, uh, building here. It gets really hard to read that. Ah, oh, I keep doing that! I keep doing it, guys! Snore. <laughs> I see brother dearest is sleeping it off. Oh well. No need to wake him. It will take forever, and I need food. I've got a big day ahead of me. Victor's savings of wow. I'm sure he won't need that. Let's see where's the stick? I really like how the new um. I actually really like how you can see that there are some files that they've been tinkering with. I can see your files. Um, but I actually really do like the new RPG Maker and how it looks. I have to get used to it, though. One of the best things is resizing windows. So this doesn't have controller support, but I believe they did say it was going to be a locked chest at the foot of my parents' bed. Now is really not the time. You just saved the game, but okay. Oh, what was it? Oh, the campfires. I can't save it. The campfires. Okay. So again, this is still a work in progress game. Good morning, dear. Did you sleep well? Ready to have you ready for your big day? <laughs> Been ready for years, mum. 
can't wait to get out there and see everything I've read about with my own eyes. Good, I've nearly finished cooking, so go wake your brother and get back on, get here, back here in a double, young man. Do I really have to? Well, I can't do it. I've got my hands full here, and your dad is out, so yes, yes, you have to do it. Now get. <laughs> yes, Mom. Wake up, asshole. Protocol. <laughs> Vigorous shaking. You proceed to shake Ranar vigorously. Apart from the few snuffling sounds as you shake him mid snore, he remains fast asleep. No result, huh? Oh well. In initiating protocol two, vigorous shouting. Renar, wake up, you lazy git! Still no good. Okay, my last resort is protocol three. Spark. How in the hell are you still asleep? Hmm. Time to consult outside sources. I should ask mom again. <laughs> so rough, big sis. Now I almost feel bad. Enjoying your big sis while you can. Hey mom, he's being creepy and he won't wake up. Mother dearest, I did my best, but alas, I have failed and the beast remains asleep. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I heard. Just tell me you didn't send the sheets again. Oh, come on. It was only that one time. My control is way better now. Just try not to set the house on fire, dear. Here, take this. Take his breakfast and waft it under his nose. That will do it. What the hell is that? Crazy chameleon, hey, man. Hi, I'm Crazy Chameleon, here to tell you that this game is supported by Patreon donations. Speaking of Patreon, you should check out mine. If you're interested in supporting the game, or gaining access to great rewards like development builds, art previews, polls that influence the future content of the game, I would be very happy if you would visit my Patreon, pla pa Patreon and pledge. Still want to- nope! <laughs> Sorry man, it'll be linked in the description of this video. So will mine. Because you love me. I do like that he's just hiding there, that creepy little motherfucker. Come here. Well, I have the big lug's breakfast. Ah, the smell. Is it morning already? Man, it feels like my head just hit the pillow. The Red Knight's training regiment is pretty brutal, huh? <sighs> yeah, pretty much. Axes are heavy. That's why I prefer these was never really going to make a good warrior. Anyway, enough of this, for over in yonder kitchen, pre- pr <sighs> fuck me. Over in yonder kitchen, precious bacon awaits un- unmolested. We must rectify this tragedy, brother. Battle awaits. Renard joins the party. Give me my breakfast. Wait, didn't I just have breakfast? Ah, I see you finally managed to wake him. Good morning, boys. I trust you slept well, Renar. Like a log, Mom. Although, I guess that isn't anything unusual. I do worry about you, son. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? I know you are a pious man, but it won't do anyone any good if you ruin your body. It's brutal, I won't deny that. But I knew what I was signing up for. There's a reason not everyone makes it as a red knight. Just take care of yourself, okay, sweetie? I don't think Renard will do will do, I think Renard will do just fine, Mom. You worry too much. I mean, this is the man who just took a spark spell and didn't even wake up. <laughs> I slept through a spark spell? Uh, through an attack spell? Really? That's actually pretty cool. Probably means my magic defense training is paying off. Still, didn't think you'd have my back on this one. I know your your sciency types aren't big fans of the temple, let alone their armed forces. Dad certainly didn't approve. Well, don't take this the wrong way, but this sciency type doesn't exactly approve of them either. But the Red Knights keep the town safe. The Red Knights have a 
have a checkered past, but we owe them a lot. So if this is what you gotta do, I think it's something a person can be proud of. Thanks, Victor. It actually means a lot. Will you two boys fucking eat already? What? Nothing. I've got a couple of good kids is all. You two take care of each other, you hear? Yes, Mom. Ma'am. We'll both be fine, Mother. Hi. Who are you? Hi, everyone. I'm home. Welcome back, honey. Did you manage to get everything set up? All squared away, I've hired Ralph to take us out to one of the nearby islands. Most of those are tapped out, but I know a few that still have some pay dirt. Uh, it's one of the nearby ones. You know I've already been to most of those, to the closer islands, right? Don't underestimate the fulcrum shelves. The islands you've been to before were tapped out, which means no fulcrum and no fulcrum spawn. I won't deny you've a lot of talent, my son, but I'm very proud of you. But though no wise man trembles before the unknown, only a fool approaches it rashly. There you go, talking, taking, talking in famous, in fortune cookies again. I get it though, I'll be careful. So, when do we leave? Right after breakfast. I could eat a horse. Funny, that's what we're having. Now loading. Michael has joined the party. Ah, oh, that was good. I needed that. You know, I think you guys could really eat a horse. Delicious, delicious. Come on, you two. Quit bickering. We've got a long day ahead. You can bicker when you're done. <sighs> sure, I can manage that. I promise nothing! <sighs> At any rate, we should stock up before we go. We should check out the shard shop. I don't believe Victor's used their services before. They usually give freebies to first timers. There's also another place we could check. A resource engineer will make use of my shards. He can get his hands on. Isn't that stealing? Renar, I'm not suggesting we go into people's homes and take stuff. Making use of the odd leisure shard people have tossed away is called finding. Still, isn't it a little grubby? Maybe. But you won't always have all the shards you want or the money to buy them. This world isn't so forgiving that your pride is worth more than the fulcrum you need to live. Point taken. Let's see, where are we? Oh, that's where we are. Hey, Victor. I heard you just got back from the from the academy. Yeah, not too long ago. Well, don't be a stranger. I'm sure we can figure out even more ways to get you in trouble now that you're actually allowed on the ships. <laughs> you know me too well. Oh, let's explore a little. There's another button I wanted. If there's anything in here. I do like how you just have to point and you can move in the new one. So it looks like there's a place here we can explore. It's locked. Fresh meat right here, straight from the butcher's block. Oh, hi, Michael. Taking the kids for their first trip out. Hardly kids anymore, Mel. I take it business is good? Oh my, yes. All thanks to you. You know farming used to be impossible here for everyone. Not having to import them from Velmar is a godsend. I'm glad to be of service to the town. Besides... Since you take care of selling all my produce, I am free to devote myself to my research. <laughs> Don't be shy, Michael. I'm putting my own mock up on stuff, you know. And the guy selling them is still making a killer. 
It's actually been a long time since. Let's see. I'm sure you'll do. Well, you, you'll be fine, Dad. It's gotta be just like riding a bike, right? Well, not that I know, would know. Well, good luck, all of you, and stay safe. Now get going, unless you're ha here to buy. Maybe you wanna buy some meat, bitch. So, can I interest you boys in some well aged meat? Uh, probably later, Mel. Have a good day. What? Let's see. Sausages for sale. The hell? Liberally get them while they're sausage shaped. Fresh local ingredients, absolutely no cow whatsoever. Fool me once. Oh, come on, I promise I'll never do it again. There's a piece of collar in it. Its name was Maximilian. Oh, come on, it's all good, healthy protein. We're done here. <laughs> This old feeling like I'm looking at the future. Eh. Well, I can't really deny the facts. The captain is a great man, but you'll see that someday he's the one that. Someday he's the one that inspired me to join the Red Knights. Even if he does like to nap a little too much, let's leave him alone for now. I've had to pause. You guys don't know it, but I've had to pause this so many times because of puppies. Sorry, but I don't have time to check. Gotta get all the crates. Okay. Michael, Michael, it's been a long. T it's been too long. Yes, I've been caught up in work with the new purifiers. I haven't been out to the shelves in months. Fuck! You're one of our best miners. But I have to admit, not having to spend half of my income on rotten imported crap, s crap, sure sits well with me. You're most welcome. Now, I'm not sure if you're just if you've met my sons. The eldest is Renar, and the younger Victor. Oh, I already know this one. How many times have I kicked your ass off my damn ship anyway? Quite a few. Sorry for the trouble. Looks like I won't have to do that anymore. And you? Michael, one of your sons is a red knight? Oh, not you two. He's still in training, so I haven't given up hope. For the love of... Calm your heels, boy. I got no gripe with the knight. Just a little surprise. Michael's eldest ended up as up in their ranks. Well, I guess I can understand that. What the hell do you have now, dog? Stop it. Stop it. Come on, girl. You got a little mouse toy. So, lad, are you ready to head out? Uh, not yet. I, I still want to find shit to buy. I have like a fuck ton of money now. Is there somewhere I'm missing? Hello, sir. Can I get you anything? Apparently not. Hello, sir. Can I get you anything? Apparently not. Fuck it. We're just gonna go on our trip now. We should be fine. Monsters drop shit, right? Or I could go the completely wrong way. How the fuck? I broke your game. I broke your game. 
so. Nope. Alright, moving on. <laughs> God, it reminds me of Miko. Run around everywhere. Let's go! Woo! Meanwhile, at the North Watch. It's been hours. They've been pounding at the walls for hours. I've been fighting just so long. My muscles ache, my bones ache, my lungs feel like they have sulfur. I can feel their blades getting closer. So it's However, channeling the last of her mana into her war blade, it once again springs to life, its core burning with that old fulcrum fire. One more push, old girl. Bounding to the front, Mira engages the chosen storming the beach directly. They move to intercept her with an eerie, merciless mechanical precision. One of the Chosen attacks her, loses an arm for his trouble, but the other is closing in. Almost without thought, Mira reverses her blade, putting all of her body behind the blow. She runs him through before the blade can fly. Blood splatters all over Mira as the Chosen struggles to free himself. Free itself. Ugh. These things feel no pain? Mira twists her blade, bunching her muscles, and brings her blade around in a second lethal arm. <sighs> Brave soldiers, men and women of the glorious night, today has been a dark day. Today we lost comrades, honorable soldiers, old friends. But at last the enemy breaks. Hold strong and think of your families and loved ones. We'll make damn sure no one died in vain. For the sake of all our fallen, I have but one order for you. Tear them limb from limb. How stirring. You're quite the tenuous one. But I can see why the master likes you. That's so. Then why don't you invite him to come on down? I know your worthless hide won't be enough to satisfy my girl here. A cruel smile on her face, Mira hefts her fulcrum war blade. Her name's Ash, and she just loves burning out the guts of villainous filth. I'm sure she'd just be delighted to meet him. Hmm. Chosen? Yes, master. Give me your energy, we end this. Your will. Do they mean nothing to you? Oh, quite the contrary. You understand so little. No matter. No, my soldiers. Dead. Mira looks up at the hooded stranger, her good eye full of her hatred. I'm going to kill you. And your master. That's a promise. Then, no longer able to keep fighting, she loses consciousness. Such fire. It will serve him well. Looks like we have two stories going. Some distance away. This actually looks really cool. Oh, we can move. We can kind of explore a little. Sorry, kid, no one gets to the engine room without the captain's permission. Aww! I gotta go, aww! Which freaked my dog out. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, if you don't mind, I'd actually. I'm actually very curious about the airship. I've read a lot about them, but I wouldn't mind chatting with someone who works on them for a living. Do you have time to answer my questions, or are you busy with work? Oh, no, it's truly a pleasure to see a novice like yourself show interest in the airships. Too many young punks get all excited and make a ruckus or cause problems for us because they don't understand how to act on a ship. So by all means, ask your questions, lad. Where does the ship lie? 
How does this ship fly properly? I only see rear thrusters and a couple of side ones. Seems the ship is far more maneuverable than it should be. Ah, yes, very much so. Notice the blue lines woven into the deck? Those are from the fulcrum su suppressors below. And they are capable of adjusting the relative weight of each part of the ship sub sub subtly 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 altering its its course on demand as well as keeping the ship aloft that's the reason for the computers we have to take into account the nearby gravitix currents you know what fuck it i give up reading and balance the power of each section to the projector it's a skill that can take years to truly master a relatively inexperienced pilot could get the ship to move on autopilot, however, this would be extremely rough and be possible of a crash as high. Especially in dangerous currents like these fulcrum shelves, where the many small islands create complex interloading, I hate you people, interlocking patterns of gravitous forces. The principle is similar to sailing on the internal sea. In that the handle is dangerous areas, a pilot must be familiar with them. It is a skill often passed through families. I myself am training my daughter on this very ship. However, we don't let her at the engineer with the passengers on board. Since she has yet to truly master these skills, she is currently operating the ship's weaponry. Wow, you guys are pretty amazing, huh? And there goes the barbie. Go get it. I didn't understand just how essential the chief engineer role was. You're not just the engineer, you're doing a lot of piloting work. If we lost you, we'd have a, diff a lot of difficulty getting the ship home. It's a somber thought. You seem quite on the uptake. That's good. If you have any more questions for me, please do not, please do not hesitate. It's my pleasure to share my knowledge with fine young engineers. <laughs> you guys just heard the dingling of my puppy. Alright. So I could show you... Hello, son. Enjoying your first trip out? Well, the sh airship is actually cool, but what am I really looking forward to seeing is whatever shard we are going to. I've never actually seen a live fulcrum shard before. So, any inside info on this particular shard? It's actually one of the newer ones we've de we've, de we've detected, which means it must have only just recently spilt from the Titan Geode. The readings are a little odd. There doesn't seem to be much fulcrum spawn, be but quite a bit actual fulcrum. It's a really juicy vine, and I've been saving it for a special occasion. But for now, I recommend you have a look around the ship. You will be working extensively with the crew and these ships while on the job. It would behoove you to learn as much as you possibly can. Sure, Dad. See you around. So, guys, we could continue, but I'm going to be really cruel and say not right now. If you guys like this game a lot, you can go ahead and say I can't save, can I? Fuck a mother. Oh, you... Okay, now we have to continue, don't we? else I can talk to? Oh. Ready. Alright, good luck. Okay, so there we go. Ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. Whoa, this is... This is a shard? The atmosphere is pretty unsettling. So this is what happens when lots of raw falcon gathers? Indeed, for me, this is quite familiar. Sometimes I forget you boys have never laid eyes on a shard before. It looks like this shard is infested with shard crawlers, which would explain the readings I got before. Shard crawlers breed in great numbers and can often overwhelm larger fulcrum spawns if they rise above a certain critical population. That should make wandering around a little easier since these beasts are the least threatening of their kind. My advice? 
Then out their forces as soon as possible. The only real danger from these creatures is being overwhelmed. What's with all this weird tree things? Oh, the fungal stalks. They are very common on the shards. Simpler life forms like fungus or insects tend to, fe to fare better when, expect when exposed to fulcrum. Looks complex, complex to mutate, I can imagine, so it's very us unusual to see normal plant life. Okay, let us proceed. Remember, son. Remember, sons, keep your barriers up and let Rana take the front line. As long as we hold a strong defense, myself and Victor's attack magic will make short work of the enemy. Aha! Wrong button. Here we go. If you guys want to see what happens next, let me know. Maybe I'll continue this. Remember, guys, it's still a work in progress. Go ahead and check out the creator's Patreon, which is in the description, as well as mine. Check out my Patreon and my other channels. There'll be a whole mess of links in the comment section. Clicky, clicky, clicky. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Take my